Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x power 6 plus x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x is equal to 0 to find the values of x from this equation. Now, first, from here in the left side, x is common. So, we'll start by taking x out of bracket. Then, x power 6 divided by x is x power 5 plus x power 4 divided by x is x power 3 plus x power 3 divided by x is x power 2 plus x divided by x is 1 bracket is equal to this 0. Then in the next step, from here we have two solutions. Whereas this first solution, which is x, is equal to this 0. And this second solution, which is this inside the bracket, which is x power 5 plus x power 3 plus x power 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, we already get 1 of the value of x, which is x is equal to 0. Then we'll continue to solve from this equation by placing the bracket in here and in here. So it will be this x power 5 plus x power 3 bracket then plus x square plus x x square plus 1 bracket is equal to this 0 then in the next step from here x power 5 plus x power 3 in here x power 3 is common so we'll take x power 3 out of bracket then x power 5 divided by x power 3 is x square plus x power 3 divided by x power 3 is 1 bracket then plus in here 1 will take 1 out of bracket which is the same thing so to be 1 out of bracket this inside the bracket which is x square plus 1 bracket is equal to 0 then from here x square plus 1 x square plus 1 is common so we'll take x square plus 1 bracket out of bracket then this divided by this is this x power 3 plus this divided by this is 1 then bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution which is x square plus 1 is equal to 0 and this is the second solution x power 3 plus 1 is equal to 0 then to solve from this first solution we take 1 into this side so it will be x square is equal to negative 1 then we will apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel with square then it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i so in here we will already get two values of x which is i and negative i and to continue to solve from this this equation it is same as x power 3 plus this same as 1 power 3 is equal to 0 then from here in the left side we'll apply algebraic rule in this form which whereas this is in the form of a power 3 plus b power 3 which is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square bracket then in the next step in here we will apply this form so it will be a plus b it will be x plus 1 so x plus 1 bracket bracket a square it will be x square then minus a times b it will be a is x b is 1 so x times 1 is x then plus b square it will be 1 square which is 1 bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution 
which is x plus 1 is equal to this 0. And this is the second solution, which is this quadratic equation, which is x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this equation, we take 1 into this side to be x is equal to negative 1. So in here, we already get the other value of x, which is negative 1. Then to solve from this quadratic equation, we'll, to find the values of x, we will apply quadratic formula. To find the value of x, it will be x is equal to quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then it will be x is equal to negative b here, it is negative 1. So bracket negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square, it will be negative 1 bracket square, then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1. Then over 2 times a is 1. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to negative and negative to be positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 square is 1. Negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4. Then over this time this is 2. Then it will be x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is negative 3 over 2. Then it will be x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 is same as square root of 3 then times square root of negative 1 is i then over 2 we will divide by 2 in this part and by 2 in this part therefore in here also we have two other values of x for positive and for this negative therefore my conclusion the first value of x is equal to this one which is 0 so 0 and the second value of x is equal to from here we have plus or minus i so it will be positive i which is i the second value of x and the third value of x is equal to for this negative i it will be negative i and the the third value of x, is this, this is the fourth value of x, is equal to this one, which is negative 1. And the fifth value of x is for this positive. So it will be half plus square root of 3i over 2. So a half plus square root of 3i over 2. And the sixth value of x is equal to when it is here negative, it will be a half minus square root of 3i over 2. Therefore, these are all the values of x in this our problem. Whereas we have 6 values of x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.